Hey everyone, Equinox here. Welcome back to Boyfriend Dungeon. A lot of things happened up near the end of the last episode. Uh, we were attacked by some guy with green hair, looked very creepy, and had a blade arm. And everyone seems to suggest going to all oh, the Paradise Lost is a date. Um, so uh, they suggested going to... Yes, Naked Steel, see what's up with Eric. Um, Eric did say that he, he had a trade he wanted to make, and I completely forgot about that. So, I have, a, I have a suspicion that Eric is either going to be the final boss of the dungeon, of the entire dungeon game, or he's connected somehow to the final boss because he is creepy enough and he's been working on some very sketchy things it sounds like, but first, I want to go pet cats! Oh, look at Pi sleeping. I love him. Oh, look at all the cats. Oh, 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 there's a there's a loaf in the corner on top of the platform. Oh, oh they're all cute. Anyway, <clears throat> you find Pocket sleeping in a sunbeam in the corner of the cafe. His fur looks unbelievably soft. It sounds like he's snoring a little bit. Ah. Uh, uh, whenever my cats are sleeping, uh, um, I usually, like, kind of scritch their neck a little- Ah, oh, scritch! That's even the word they use! Uh, I kind of scritch their neck and, like, they wake up purring and just, like, Yes, give me more of those neck scritchies. So I'm gonna do that. Ah! Your fingers sink into a soft, soft fur between his ears and, the sh and shoulder. Pocket releases a deep exhale and begins purring beneath your hand. Ah, that's exactly what my kitties do. Olivia approaches. Hey, hey Noct, here's her friend. Wait, that cat doesn't work here. At the sound, Pocket wakes up with a uh, jump and turns, biting on your hand. Ow. Huh? Whoa, he's, uh, he was so cute a second ago. It doesn't look like you're bleeding. Pocket glares at Olivia. I love cats, but I wouldn't pet strays. It can be very stressful for them. Grr. Uh, he's not a stray, exactly. Well, he hangs around, uh, well, he hangs around out here, but I guess he has a collar. Someone must love him. I wonder what he's doing out here. <laughs> Pocket licks his paws and rubs his face. <laughs> Aw, he's having a little bath. That's the cutest. Pocket stops licking and glares at Olivia. Sorry, I'll leave you two in peace. As soon as she leaves, Pocket makes a small mew. Would you like to offer a gift? Uh, I don't know what else I have that Pocket would like. Oh, but if I gave Pocket the teddy bear, would I, I wonder if he'll like play with it, like nuzzle up against it. I need to try it. <gasps> Yay! Pocket gently sinks his paws into the bear's fur and begins kneading and purring. Ah, that, that is the cutest thing in the world. Oh, when cats do that little knead thing when they're like cushioning up a pillow or something. Like, ah, uh, my cats do that when they sit in my lap and it claws the shit out of my legs. It's so painful, but I, I, I don't have the heart to tell them to stop. <laughs> You stare into his big yellow eyes. He stares right back. Offer your hand. Pocket approaches your hand warmly, making eye contact with you the whole time. He sniffs uh, where he bit you, then gives you the tiniest lick as, as if an apology. Ah. He abruptly decides to nuzzle your hand, rubbing the side of his head against your knuckles. Oh, I love you so much, Pocket. You, uh, alright, uh, playtime. Enemies take extra damage when hit while immobilized and forceful. Enemies are also, are also briefly stunned when immobilized. Doesn't stunned and immobilized kind of mean the same thing? Uh, I'll go with the extra damage. <laughs> he stops perking up curiously as if he, as if oh my god he stops 
Perking up curiously as if to an unheard signal, something caught his attention. Watch where he, um, I want to follow him. You follow him as he slinks outside. He slips between uh, slates. He sw he slips between slates of a fence and escapes you. A few moments. Whoa. Pocket. A few moments later, you heard a cacophonous racket of hissing and growling. Pocket sprints past at lightning speed. Whoa. A rough-looking street cat steps out. Steps out of the alley, looks around, and goes back inside. Uh, are you, um, messing with Pocket? Because that ain't gonna fly. But at the same time, I also want... Yeah, you know, like, you look like you've been through some shit. So, uh, I want to know if you're okay. Are you, like, the ruler of the streets or something? What's your story? You head home. I wonder if Pocket's owner will know anything. My cat's acting weird. Lots of energy. Did you feed him anything? Uh, well, I did give him some mackerel in the dungeon in the last episode, but I don't think that counts. I don't think Pocket was eating anything, was he? Not me. Huh. Okay, well, he's... Ah! Well, he's really into fish now. Ah! Ah! Uh, well, I have the thumbnail for this video already. Oh, ew, that is so cute. Ah! Uh, can I get your name? Cat owner, whoever you are. I would like to thank you personally for allowing me to play with your cat. Uh, Alright, that's done. Let's go to Eric. Huh. Jess uh, wanted us to approach Eric, but Eric um, wanted to make a trade. Let me see what Eric had to say first. The weapon shop is locked, but there's lights on inside. You look around, you don't Over see here. anyone. You spot Jess hiding behind a car. You duck into a shadow and join him. What are we doing? He's coming out. You hear the shop door open and take a peek. Whoa. You see Eric and his friend conferring. Repeat your orders once more. I don't want any mistakes this time. Is he the one that's been chipping all of the blades we've met in the dungeon? Even Pocket? Unforgivable. No. 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 No killing. Come on. Focus. I'm glad I double-checked. Watch. Yes. Watch. Knocked. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. A cookie for you. What kind of cookies do you like? Macaroon? Then attack knocked. No. 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 What about Oreos? Ah, this isn't going to work at all, is it? I love... I love... Yes, I know you love me. I created you. It's only natural. I love to kill. Oh. Well, that's unacceptable. I made you to obey me, and I don't want you to hurt anyone. Nice. <clears throat> I mean... Everyone has thoughts, but I don't actually want to hurt anyone. Nice. Ugh, fine. Come back inside so I can fix you. You're in no state for a mission. The stranger hisses and turns to look straight at you. No. Target acquired. Masamune, inside. Now. Masamune. Masamune smiles wildly at you, uh, staring openly. Eric follows its gaze and his eyes widen. Not? And Jess? What are you doing here? 
Uh, <laughs> hey, Eric, we just, um, we happen to be in the neighborhood. You've been weird. The average mind cannot comprehend the workings of one more advanced. Dude, you know that's not what we're talking about. Stop saying that. Now, as it happens, I could use your help. I put a lot I put in a lot of effort gathering the materials and smithing him. But now I think it's time to deactivate Masamune. Why? He's become unruly, and I think it's time to iterate Masamune version t Masamune version 2. You know, Dr. Frankenstein learned his lesson the first time around. Genius take time. I have a smithing technique that'll make me rich here. I knew there'd be kinks to work out in the design, but I thought they'd be the sexy kind of kinks. I had hoped it would I ha I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. Sorry, old boy. Eric pats the monster's shoulder awkwardly. The katana creature continues staring at you hungrily, shrugging away Eric's hand. So now you want us to kill it? Er, him? The thing's attention snaps to Eric. No. Er, it's nay on the ill K. Masamune slashes at Eric, slicing open his arm and chest, exposing flesh. Oh my god. Exposing flesh beneath it. Ah! Eric shrieks and faints at Masamu uh, as Masamune melts into a nearby shadow. Just dials 911. Well. Uh, yes, there's an emergency. We need an ambulance. 542 Tybalt Bolt Lane. Uh, do I ch uh, 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 chasing the monster would be foolish. Let's just stop the bleeding. You press on Eric's wound, applying basic first aid. I'm dying. I can feel it. My life force slipping away. That looks like it's a scratch. Come on. I give my weapon shop to you, not take good care of it. Remember me. Uh. Dude, you're going to be fine. Stop with the dramatics. No. You don't know that. Maybe I'll be dead any second. Then how will you feel? An ambulance pulls up. Remember me. A, para a paramedic ushers him into the ambulance and drives away. Well, that could have gone better. At least we found something out. The katana creature's on the loose, though. Oh, the katana creature's on the loose, though. We better be careful until it's found. Why did Eric want him to watch you anyway? Um, the only explanation I can think of is that he's a stalker. Uh, I guess he is, isn't he? Jeez, disturbing. Well, you don't have to interact with him anymore. He went way over the line. Keep yourself safe, okay? And I will too. Except, in, except a dunge, I guess. That's just work. Are you going to be okay at home alone? I'm so sorry I introduced you to that guy. At least you have... Uh, at least you have really good lots on the door. I pay top dollar. But I can come stay on the couch just in case. If it'll help you sleep. I mean, uh, I wouldn't want to be left home alone, but I probably would invite Sunder because he would protect me, I would believe. But, uh, Jess, we need to hang out more. Yes, if you don't mind. Of course I don't mind. I gotta keep you safe or, well, you know, your mom. Come on, let's go. Oh, but I hope having Jess over doesn't put him in danger. You head home together. You feel your heart leaping up into your throat, thudding, urgent. Jess comes, uh, Jess comes in and you lock the door firmly behind him. 
Jess pats the couch affectionately. I've missed this. Whenever I had trouble sleeping, I'd come to the couch and zonk out instantly. He yawns and stretches out, looking remarkably comfortable. At home, even. Night, cuz. Eh. Thanks for this. Huh. No worries. Happy to help you rest easy. Just smiles and waves, uh, settling into sleep. Your head feels cloudy, foggy, with thoughts that leap in uh, that th uh, the ha with thoughts that leap ahead of you faster than you can catch them. You saw Eric get attacked. This is this is very um mood music for something so urgent. You saw Eric get attacked. What would Katana do next? Katana, I thought he was Masamune. What is he capable of? Wait, am I missing something? That creature's name was Masamune, right? So who's Katana? What would Katana do next? What is he capable of? That's weird. No answers come to mind, only questions. You lie down reluctantly, bracing yourself for hours of tossing and turning. You take a few deep breaths, curling up into yourself. Maybe it's knowing Jess is asleep on the couch, but you immediately fall into darkness. In the morning, you find Jess anxiously scrolling on his phone. Uh-oh. Hey, cuz, you, you're gonna want to sit down. Oh no, what happened? Oh, you're already sitting. Good. Um, so, nobody's answering their phone. Isaac, Sunder, Valeria, nobody. What the fuck? What happened? All my weapon friends are weirdly silent this morning. Oh, no. What does that mean? Fuck. Oh, no. All of the weapon friends? Uh, I don't know. I was hoping to figure it out before you woke up. But here we are. This is bad weird. What if... What if Katana... Again, who the fuck is Katana? That was Masamune. What if Katana goes to all of them somehow? Got to all of them somehow. Uh, Jess jumps at, at a knock on the door. Uh, who is it? Oh, I thought I was calling out who is it. Don't worry, the lock will hold. I got a lifetime guarantee from the locksmith. Jess looks through the peephole. Oh, phew, it's just Samantha. She, uh, she's probably a little weirded out, too. Why is the music like this? I'll be right back. Uh-oh. Uh, Jess? Is that really Samantha? He, he unbolts the door and steps out. You quickly lock the door after him. Don't lock it after him! Look out the peephole. You see an empty staircase. Weird. Where'd Jess go? What? Wait, so Jess stepped out and he's no longer visible through the peephole? Or did he just walk away before? I, what? What? You realize, despite all of your all of your striving, you're alone. Everyone is gone. Maybe forever. Uh-oh. I mean, uh... It's easy to, like, look at this rationally from my point of view, but I can so see where this is going, like... In this situation, I would be asking, like, did I do this somehow? Can I fix this? So, how do I fix this? You remember all the times you pushed someone away or made yourself less likable. You laughed at the wrong times. You asked the wrong questions. You were too quiet or too loud to fix it. You'd have to become a totally different person. Is that even possible? Oh, you hear it hissing and jump to realize Katana, I guess his name is Katana now, uh, realize Katana is standing next to you with a smirk. Thirst. I can fix this. You grow in power and strength as you decide this is a fight worth having. A fight worth winning. Katana shrinks back from your newfound resolve. 
You rush to meet Katana and demand answers for your missing weapon friends. He melts into darkness. You chase him for what feels like a long time until you're panting with exertion. You wake up with with a trace of sweat beating on your oh my god, on your back. Was that just a dream? Ah, Jess, okay. Jess uh, shares a simple breakfast with you. You tell him about oh. your dream. Whoa, well, I'm glad you're feeling better. And there are no incident uh there were no incidents last night, so I guess it's back to life as normal. Plus locked doors. Mm. Oh good, so our friends are not missing. I'll try prying some more info out of Eric. Maybe he has some idea on how to get rid of the thing. Uh, well, this is Eric's mess to make, but if our friends are in danger, if he's the he's the thing going around shipping them, then yeah, I'm not just going to sit around and do nothing. Good idea. I'll let you know what he says, if anything. Stay sharp, cuz. Or keep your friends sharp anyway. He lets himself out. You take a deep breath and feel a clarity thrill through you. From scalp to fingertips. You take another deep breath. Whatever happens, you're ready. So I don't know, like, where this is going. We gotta do something about this monster on the loose, especially before you fly home. Gonna be the end of summer before you know it. When is my flight? Too soon. We gotta hurry a little bit. Uh, they... I mean, I'm kind of glad they're not giving me, like, a time limit. But this also implies, like, it could be tomorrow I'm leaving. So I don't know how close to the end of the game I am. Too soon. We gotta hurry a little bit. I'll try to grill Eric. He's in the hospital, but that means he can't run away. I've been, I've been taking blacksmithing classes. Maybe I can use that. Uh, we'll let you know if I find anything out. Or find out anything. Uh... Jess, you are a trooper. Thank you. Be careful. If anything happens to Jess, I will throw my TV out the window. And, uh, uh, uh I guess I just keep dungeon until new story things come up? Maybe? Is there anything else? Yeah, I don't have any, um, date spots open so yeah let's just uh, uh go to la rosa all right sunder you first well let's start around five oh i look this, uh, so I rad it's probably me Ah, uh, the, the shades and the blade suit this jacket perfectly. God. I look like a... I kind of look like a Yakuza member from an anime or something. <laughs> I'm down. What is this music? Give me that water cash. Oh, I know you're not shooting at me, bitch. Okay. You want to continue that roll? Nope. You will get no last hits with me. And again. Whoa, okay. Oh, let me heal up a little bit and then continue to slash some cannons. So I'm guessing Katana is going to be the boss in at the at the very end of this dungeon. Oh my, a lot of Bug friends, come out and help. I, I just summon all three of my bug friends at once. We fight together. We're stronger as a team. Why do the hearts hurt? Hearts should be healing. Heal again. Oh. Man, this is tough. Uh, 
come here, you... Ugh. Evil smooch. Are we done now? There's only one bug survivor. You have deep pockets, right? Night armor. Cool. 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 I need to look up those uh, recipes for the clothes I already have, but am currently unable to craft. Let's see what ingredients I need and... Wait, what's... No, oh, over here is a golden chest, I see. Found pretty ribbon. That's where I done came from. I already like the La Rosa dungeon better than the mall dungeon. Oh. Thunder? A stage, huh? When I was young, people told me I should use my looks. Be an actor or singer. Definitely. Wrong. Uh... I mean, I tried. For a little while. I'm certainly not shy. But as much as I like attention, I really prefer one-on-one -on -one interactions. Meaningful conversations. Understanding one another. Intimacy, you know? I'd rather dance alone in my room than on a stage for strangers any day. But the best would always be with you, of course. Ah, uh... Up close. Just the two of us. When the time is right, anyway. Hell yeah, after that. Come on. Uh, concert? Uh, yes. Uh, Sunder, you wanna go to a concert with me? Mars Marsky and McQueen play at La Rosa sometimes. It'd be fun to see them somewhere else. But... Now it's the time for, uh, but now it's the time of battle and blood. Yay. Wait, what is this? What is this? Why is this little gap here? Or is it just for decorations? Oh, I guess there was boxes and stuff already in there and I just broke them and I don't remember it. Get glass and sun hat. Neat. Yet another triumph for the sexiest duo around. Yeah, hell yeah, we are. Fine. Fine gold chain recipe. Cool. I'm guessing that's a present because I don't think I can... I don't think I have necklace options. But if I did, I would so wear a gold chain with this look. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to the next level with you because... Just a little bit away from leveling up again. I would like to get Sunder fully leveled up before before um, the final boss get all of the date possibilities with him before the game is over. I still don't know exactly what ends the game. Time for a little break. I'm pretty... Oh, yeah, this is the first uh, hangout spot we found in here, right? But yeah, I'll offer another gift. Oh, vodka. That won him over. Oh, artisanal. Oh, artisanal and just for me. You know how to spoil a boy. And it gets pretty hot on the dance floor. Not that I mind getting sweaty. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, you already asked me. Regularly. You already asked me all that. We're good. I got one bug zine left. I will save that for a challenging room. Maybe a box if I can manage. 
But since I fully leveled up Sunder this go around, if I go to the next floor, I'll use someone else. Whoa. Wow, I kicked the wall. Spooky zine. I am curious. I am curious. Change weapon. Who's next? Ooh, I'm so sorry, Seven and Isaac. You guys, I don't mean to abandon you. I, there's just too many people to follow stories. Do I want Valeria? Roll it. I know I want pocket. Uh, sorry, I could use a little bit to get to know more of. Uh, 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 uh. I want to make sure pocket is okay from that. Uh, that stray cat. I think those two are fighting, maybe. And I do not want pocket getting hurt. So if I can find out more about that cat, it, oh, that's so cool! That's what immobilizers do. It wraps them in chains. I love how fast those attacks are. Whoa. Yeah. Get those lips out of my face, boy! Also, these martinis have chipped glasses. I wonder if those are like a stronger version of the... of the unchipped martinis. Ooh, bots in here. Storm zines. I'm getting new powers, looks like. I must break every cart and box available. I will leave no survivors. Per. You um play po you play pool pocket? Pocket hops up on a nearby pool table and bats at the ball frantically, excited as it rolls. Play with him! He moved the pole balls around intri intriguingly, keeping Pocket running until he's breathless. Meow. What'd you like? I don't know if, um, what I, what I could possibly give. Will he like a silver ring because it's shiny? Yay! Pocket bats at it. He zooms around on the floor as he chases it like a wildcat on the hunt. Chases it? Is it like rolling? He returns to his weapon form, newly energized. Yay! If I didn't have Sunder, if I wasn't looking for any romantic partner in this game, I would, I would just have the cat and nothing else. If I could just... I would absolutely play a dating sim where one of the options is just being a cat dad. I would so do that route. Yeah, like romance is good and all, and if they're attractive, that's even better, but, you know, cats are cuddly. You can pet them, and, like, they're so adorable when they roll around and they need on cushions and stuff. Ugh. True love ain't got shit on cats. Ow. Blast me at point blank range. I'll take a little bit more damage before I heal.
Intense purring. Dark essence. So they're just basically a rare craftable material, right? Like material for crafting. I'll level up one more person. Uh, let's see what Sawyer's doing. We're pretty close to their next level. Oh look, a monster in a different room? Boom. What? Wait. Did it reflect? Did they reflect the glaive back at me? Hey! Stop it. Whoa! Is that a magic circle? Wait, what? Ah. These weapon abilities and flashy mechanics never cease to amaze me. Summer dress. Free is the best price for everything. I couldn't agree more. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. No harm. Well, plenty of harm, but also plenty of healing, so... It all evens out. Going in circles. Continue downward, then. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh wait. Uh, damn it, I still need to go all the way over there just to get the dropped items. This is such a cool level. A little break is just what I need. Oh! I love small venues. Uh, seeing a musician close up is cooler than being in a bigger than a bigger cooler than in a in, in, in a French toast. It's cooler than in a big arena. Looks like there isn't a gig here now, though. Monsters are probably bad at booking. What does Sawyer like? Oh, uh, you look like a someone who would appreciate a good tourism guide. Oh, I can't wait to be done with school and start traveling. Thanks! Marcy and McQueen are f from Verona Beach, so maybe I'll see them here someday, even though they're famous. Uh, th those are the concert tickets I gave to Sunder, but I still don't know who they are. Who? Uh, if you don't know them, never mind. They're just a cool music duo, no big deal. I can send you a link to some of their tracks. It's okay if you don't like them, though. They give you a shy smile. Should we continue back into the dunge? That was cute. Hey, lips. Hand. Lips. Oh, do you mind? I'm opening a treasure chest. Racing game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it like Mario Kart? Again, I probably wouldn't get that to a person. I would keep that. We're amazing. Or at least you're amazing. You're amazing. We both are. He found Wanderer. Wa wonder, Wanderer? Not, not even like a Wanderer's coat or anything, just a Wanderer. Wouldn't that describe a person and not an article of clothing? And I will...
And I will leave the dungeon. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Whoa, look at this. Oh, we are in the we are in the under parts of the dungeon now. Uh, everything's so grimy and ah, uh, this looks like an actual bar. Uh, all right, let's head back. I'm a brandisher. Adept? Oh yeah, I'm a professional now! What is the last title you could have? God? I'm the god of dungeons? That'd be pretty awesome. Uh, 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 uh hold on, craft. I want to uh, craft everything. Ooh. What's the racing car game? Ah, oh, awesome! Do we have any gamers we're trying to romance? Fine gold, pretty ribbon. Just in case I have limited uh, resources, let me uh, see what I want to crack the most of first. I thought I had more clothes recipes. Night, uh, summer dress, cultist, wonder. Yo, this is what I... Huh. Oh yeah, I was wondering what a, a Kigurumi was. I need... Well, once I use this light thing, I'm going to need another one of those and four fabrics. Got it. So let's focus on what we can craft first. I am getting a lot of text. I hear it, but I'm not looking at it yet. I'm focusing on crafting. Uh, what do I want first? Storm scene. Hell yeah. Uh, 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 night armor. Oh, 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 okay, yes. All right, let's, uh, 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 fine gold chain. Ooh, swanky. See that sun hat. Nice. And pretty ribbon. It is a ribbon. Well, it's more of a bow, but it's a ribbon and it is indeed pretty. Yay! Console unlocked? You can now access the console. Wait, was that racing game for me? Can I? What? Hold up. Uh, all right, uh, but put a, put a hold on everything. I want to see what this is. Are you serious? Are you serious? There, I can play a game within a game? What? Flutterbug Road, uh, easy. What what is happening? What do I do? Oh, it's a racing game. So, oh, oh, uh, oh, whoa, where? Oh, wrong way. Oh, th this is hard. This is actually hard. Turning is hard. I'm, 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 I'm a little ladybug. Ah, oh, look at me. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, oh, I, oh, I, I am terrible at being a bug. Oh, uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it a little bit. Oh, uh, oh, uh, can I drift? Final lap. I'm not gonna win this race. <laughs> I am not going to. Well done. Six out of six. Let me try that one more time now that I know what I'm doing. Oh, hell yeah. Get out of my way, I need to- oh, I- oh, I need to cut corners. I need to memorize the track so I can cut the corners. Oh, shit, oh, if I- Damn! These two are the fastest ones! Shit, uh... If I just make it in- Oh, the top three, I'll be happy! No, oh! Woo! Third place! Woohoo! Did I win anything? A bronze medal? Oh, uh, okay. That's, that's cute. That's cute. Well done, game. And what does the Storm Zine do? Storm Zine, calls down thunder strikes. Calls down thunder strikes. Alright, I'll, uh, sorry bug friends, but I'm gonna have to try that. Invokes Zeus, Thor, Set, and Parjanya. Par Parjanya? I don't know how to properly pronounce that. Parjanya? 
all at once, but I'm guessing they all have something to do with thunder. So can, uh, Zeus and Thor, I know. Set, isn't that an Egyptian god? see how I look in the knight's armor. Oh, let's see how I look in the knight's armor and knight's helmet. I look like a knight. Who would have thought? Okay, that's that's adorable. The pink complements my blue hair lovely, lovely, I gotta admit. But I like looking like a like an anime Yakuza member. Oh, there's also the sun hat. Hmm. Can't see my hair at all, so unfortunately that just will not do. Now let's see who's the bajillions of people testing me. I was looking up what to cook, and this might be a little complicated. The new, the new hotness. Grilled cheese. What do you think? Is it too hard? Can we do it? Oh, cool. You can, like, say you're vegan. It'll be fine. If you say so on my way- Oh, we're doing it now. I wasn't expecting to do this now. Like, I'm kind of- Oh, whatever. Uh, a few minutes later, Sawyer arrives with groceries. Hi. I wasn't sure which recipe to follow, so I got a few different things. Sorting through the bags, you find five different cheeses and various fruits. You can see fear in Sawyer's eyes as they look at the expensive ingredients. Let's make it simple. Alright, simple I can do, probably. Maybe. Actually, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. We'll see what happens. You show them how to grate cheese and melt butter in a pan. That wasn't so hard. The next step says we need some kind of weird TBSP cheese. <laughs> TBSP cheese. What's a tubspa? <laughs> Two terrific butter specimens? No, that's not right. Tablespoon. Oh, big spoon seems easier to remember, though. <laughs> like in snuggling. Sorry if I ask dumb questions. I feel like I can be honest with you and ask you anything. Ah, oh, dude. I, I asked. I ask and say stupid things daily. Have you watched any of my videos? You seem so nice, but are you secretly judging me? Nope. Good. I get judged enough in class. I'm sick of worrying about points. Oh, wait, I know how I can help. There we go. Now I can cut the bread and the cheese. <laughs> sure, thanks. Also, I just noticed the little f flower designs on the blue part on the blade. That's pretty cool. And the little, uh, is that a symbol for something? It looks like a trident. I don't know if that's like a, a symbol in certain language or hieroglyphics, hieroglyphic like languages, but maybe it's just a fancy design for a blade. Either way, I am a fan. You awkwardly cut the bread with Sawyer's blade. They're a, they're a bit long and do so uh, they're a bit long to do so comfortably. That was less awesome than I'd hoped. I guess I'm better for killing monsters. Maybe if there were a monster made of bread, I'd be set. Oh. That satisfying sound of Fresh bread and butter on a grill, on a pan. You assemble the cheese and the bread and put in, uh, put it in a frying pan. So, random question. Did you go to college? Hmm. Uh, realistically, I took some classes. Uh, so that's kind of, yeah, but I dropped out. Oh, wow. How do your parents feel about you dropping out? My mom would have- my mom would go berserk. My mom's supportive. So cool! I can't imagine my mom forgiving that kind of thing. Sorry if my question was random. I didn't mean to pry or anything. I wanted to ask because you seem like you have it all figured out. Just goes to show you don't need a degree to be cool and smart. 
Exactly. Wait, do, do you smell that? Is our baby burning? You look at the heat that- uh, you, It looks like the heat was on high, even though the recipe said medium high. You have created burnt mess. Aww. Oh man, what? I can't even make this, uh, the simplest grilled cheese, really? I feel so stupid. I hate this. Maybe this is all pointless. Let's try again. Uh, do we have to? Your encouragement seems to calm them down. They look at you and take a deep breath. Okay, okay, I can do this. Medium heat. You carefully reassemble the sandwich and put it in the frying pan on medium heat. You carefully flip the sandwich. The scent of melting cheddar fills the air. You have created a delicious grilled cheese. See? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. We got flailing. When Glaive returns from being thrown, do damage to all enemies nearby. Glaive throws and returns faster. I want that, the flailing. Whoa. Wow, cooking is real transformation. Way more magical than people turning into swords. Uh, that's debatable. They wolf down their sandwich a bit too quickly, burning their mouth. Ow, 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 ow. That was amazing. Plus the ingredients, uh, the ingredients for this were like $3. If I cook instead of going to restaurants, I might be able to afford a textbook someday. That is the, that is the saddest statement I have ever heard. And it is so true, at least in America. Hell yeah, let's offer a gift. Uh. Are you a game? Uh, important question. Sawyer, are you a gamer? Oh, neat. I don't know if I can 100% it, but I'll try. Sawyer's phone beats. Uh, they glance at it and their jaw drops. Fridge! There's been a rose of Venus sight. There's been a roses of Venus sighting in Verona Beach. I've got to go. I'm not going to. I'm not going to imply I know about that, but. Roses of what? Whoa. Seriously? They're the coolest artists in the world. They, uh, uh, they graffitied the lover. The louver. Lovera? I'm not sure how to say it. The French Museum. Oh my god. That's the word that, uh, I think that is a word Valeria said. And I was like, wait, uh, how do you pronounce that? I don't think I know. And oh my god, I've never been... I've never felt so seen in a video game. Lovra, I'm not sure how to say it. The French Museum. But they graffitied, uh, but they graffitied for good. Stuff with a real message, like dreamlike, truth and beauty bombs, you know? Anyway, I gotta go see the mural myself. Later, chief. Or chef. Chef, that was chef. There was no I in it, chef. Sawyer bundles up the leftover cheeses and hurries out. That was fun and I, and uh i need to check out the other messages whoa that girl cheese put me in a sleep coma they should sell it at they should sell it as a sedative tastiest sedative in the west glad you liked it very much just have to not eat one before a test haha <laughs> I was so pumped from yesterday that I made breakfast all by myself. The egg wasn't blackened at all. I cut the bread myself too. Haha, <laughs> I feel so powerful. Good for you. That is improvement. Uh, oh, wait, let me reply to that. Achievement unlocked. Hell yeah. And let's see what everyone else says. Pocket. Oh, I want to see that cute picture again. Okay. What? No, no, don't go back. I want to... Uh, uh, what? Where? Pock? Pocket. It's weird. I don't know your name. It's not. Cool. I'm Tank, a personal trainer. Nice to meet you, or whatever. I'm letting Pocket out. Not sure where he's going. But he didn't eat breakfast, so he's probably hungry. Tank, a personal trainer. Hmm. Um, well, 
Uh, Tank, I'm trying not to get my hopes up on you, but if you would like to reveal yourself, are you, you know, like looking for a romantic partner because, uh, oh God, I'm, I'm simping over someone I don't even know. God, that is just how, ugh. what can I say? I'm a hopeless romantic emphasis on the hopeless. I'm out of the hospital, by the way. Not that you care. My near-death experience made me realize I have to come clean. What did you do? It's hard to know where to start. I stole parts of weapons, a people, to make Masamune, a chip from a dagger, oh, a pen from a lightsaber, and so on. I'd fallen in love with each one, but they turned me away, all of them, after they rejected me. I felt like they took a part of me with them. So I, oh, this, this is so creepy. This is so creepy. So I took a part of them. I thought I'd reshape it into something new, something beautiful, but it knew my heart better than I did. So it became a monster. And you became a stalker. Uh, don't frowny face emoji me. Like, you know. Yeah, I was obsessed with your every small kindness. I'm sorry. I really am. You don't know what it's like being unloved. Everyone loves you. You haven't been cast aside over and over and over. Damn it. Come on. Can't they just let me think Eric is just a creep and be done with it? Ah. There is... I hate to admit it, but I do see, I do see why he would come to this idea of like getting a little, a little piece of everyone whom you had a close connection with and like trying to make something out of that. Like, uh, there is a good metaphor somewhere in that, but yeah, I agree. He's doing some very uncool things, but uh, if, if he sincerely apologizes for it and, like, wants to make things better and kind of work out his own issues, then there is still hope for him. Uh, okay. Sorry. Sorry again. I shouldn't make excuses. I don't deserve your pity. I'll figure out how to put things right, somehow. Well, Eric, um, this is a good test of who you are as a person, so whatever you do, we'll reflect on it. Just said not to worry, and now I'm worried. You've gotten so strong and independent this summer, but I'm still your mom, and I'm still here for you, so is something wrong? Uh, okay, if this is anything like my mom, I can say I'll handle it, but she will still worry. So, you know what? I'm going to be vulnerable, and I'm going to say yes to my mother. Yes. Oh, no. F -f 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 okay, okay. So, I can't come, but I'm there with you in spirit. And my tarot, and my tarot cards say... Everything's related. You probably know who's hurting you. Bring the fight to their doorstep. But if you decide to just hide in your apartment till it's time to come home, that's okay too. Thanks, Mom. Ah. Well. Clicked out too soon. You're coming home soon. I should probably hide it, but I can't wait. Haha, <laughs> Mom, chill. How could I possibly? I'm gonna see you! Wait, you better not be thinking of staying there forever. I mean, I support you becoming fearless and independent, but you gotta come back home first, okay? I miss you too much. I know, Mom. Okay, I'm trusting you. Come home now and then, baby bird. Please. Oh, this is making me think of my actual mom because we live in different states and I miss her too and I know she misses me and uh Hey, I have something to tell you. Let me know when you have a second. I'll come over. 
Oh, so... Alright, so that will start the next thing. What's... Oh, that's the last time we uh, hung out. Oh, oh, long thing, long thing, long thing. Okay, so I know you're leaving town soon, but I think I know how to defeat Eric's monsters. Which, by the way, now that I've looked it up, Eric naming the... But you said Katana. Eric naming the monster Masamune is Riddick. Somewhere out there, there's a gorgeous Japanese man I'd call Masamune. But this weirdo, I'm just gonna call him Katana. Anyway, here's the plan. You beat him up. <laughs> Genius. Thanks. Wait till you hear the brilliant part. We're gonna lure Katana into Eric's forge where he was made, and then I'm gonna do s some blacksmithing magic, winking him. Then you can spring out and fight him, okay? You know magic? <laughs> I've been taking blacksmithing classes. We'll see. When you're ready, call me from the weapon shop. Keep your weapon friend sheath. As a surprise. You know how Eric, how weird Eric gets when weapon folks are around. Really ready. Super ready. Like, trained 12 years for this moment ready. What if he attacks? Uh, run away? I think you're safe during the day though, okay? Okay. Ooh, some very interesting stuff is happening and- Mother, what have you said? Feels like years since I dropped you off at the airport. The house has been so quiet without you. What do you want to eat when you get home? Whatever is fine. Okay, dog food tartare it is. JK, we can figure it out when you get here, love. See you soon. We must be really getting close to the end of the game if they keep bringing up I'm going to be heading out soon. Alright, so before we summon Sunder in my direction, I am going to call this uh, episode here. It's a bit lengthy, but stuff happens. I am very interested at what's going on. Uh, I think there's a little bit of hope for Eric as far as, like, redeemed bad guys, but he's not redeemed yet. He's... Right now, he's just all talk. Let's see what his actions say. So, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Later. Thank you.